Hi, David. Uh, Hello. From India. So nice I wanted to ask about uh, teaching, basically. So when you are learning something new, right? For example, when Python was introduced. So how do you know that you are comfortable enough to teach it? You know, and uh, also the second part of the question was, you know, when? How do you keep the audience engaged in a, in any lecture that you, you know, give? Yeah, let me. Um, I see Smila smiling too, so I'm curious to hear her thoughts. I can respond directly to your first question though with、um, a simple answer. I don't know if I ever know that I'm comfortable enough to teach something. In fact, I, I'd like to think, though I'm perhaps rationalizing reality a bit, that I do a better job when I am a little bit uncomfortable because it motivates me to try to learn the material all the more. So, case in point, a few years ago. Uh, we switched from using PHP in CS50 to using Python for the web programming portion of the course. And at the time, we decided we had actually had this discussion probably for two or three years internally with CS50's teaching fellows and myself. And the time felt right this particular year to make the switch. The catch was I did not actually know Python yet at the time, and I think we must have decided in April or maybe even in the summer, June or so. And then, oh my God, October was upon us, and I still hadn't learned Python, but it was on the syllabus, and we were going to teach Python no matter what. And it was perhaps among the more risky approaches to teaching some material, but it was such amazing motivation that discomfort. Uh, with having to learn something new, that it actually helped me learn the material much better than I think if I were simply taking a course on Python. Because when I was reading up on tutorials and I was doing practice problems and following along with other people's teaching materials, I found myself always so curious. To go down one rabbit hole or another, so to speak. So if I didn't understand something, because I'm supposed to be the teacher the next day, it is not acceptable for me to not understand something and realize I don't understand it, but not figure out the answer to it. And really, it was risk aversion. I certainly didn't want to feel caught off guard by a very good question by a student in class and not have an answer if. I had had an opportunity to at least figure that out in advance. That's not to say you should know everything going in. I'm sure students asked questions that I didn't know the answer, but it was a responsibility I felt in learning the material that I should at least have an answer to any question I myself have as a student when learning the material. So this is to say, I think.、Uh, A little discomfort's a good thing, and if you're already thinking that you want to teach some subject, irrespective of your discomfort, it's probably time because you'll only get better at it along the way. And Zamila, if we can go to what motivated your smile a moment ago, how you think about this? Yeah, I think that it is so true what you say about when you when you talk about discomfort. It's certainly actually I would identify and I would agree with that as well. Some of my most favorite learning moments, and some of my、uh, also best moments as a teacher, are often the same moment of going through a little bit of that discomfort, being on and and working working through that. There have been many questions that、uh, that students have asked that challenged me to understand the material more deeply. So I did know the I did know the answer. I could help them. But thinking about that question in the way that it was posed helped me understand through my explanation to that student. Helped me understand the concept even better than before. I think that for myself, I look at my my philosophy for life is that I am always a learner, and that you don't necessarily start teaching only once you've reached the other side. It's The teach the act of teaching itself is also a learning process. Now that's also that another important thing to do though is to stay honest throughout this process. If you do, it, I think there's a certain responsibility as a teacher. You don't want to disseminate incorrect information, right? So if you truly don't know something, then I think that a really valuable process is rather than. Maybe make a guess is actually work through it together. Say, you know what? I don't actually know this. I don't actually know this yet, but let's work through this together. Let's look up the right resources and find the answer together. So I would say、uh, I would say the the honesty and also being、uh, being being able to work through that discomfort is really is really important as part of being a student as well as being a teacher. 
Well, thank you for that question as well. And I should state for the record, I do know Python now. So I, I, I figured that one out、uh, some time ago. And in fact, it's probably the language I now use most. So thankfully, I got my, my footing.